We had a length of stay review that looked at all patients over seven days, but those numbers can be very large and um, require quite a big team to do. Um, long stay Wednesday has come about because with the long, stay, long length of stay ambition, it really is important that you understand what's in your cohort of 21 day patients. We all think we know why people are in hospital, but this is to make sure we really know why people are in hospital. It was developed to, to help trusts do that. It was also to move away from what many trusts were doing with their medically fit for discharge patients. To, rather than having ward staff down to be interrogated about why they've got patients over a certain length of stay, this is about getting some senior people out on the wards and asking questions. But because you're on the ward, the ward sister's in her own environment, you can actually pick up soft information when you're on the ward about what else is going on. If you need to speak to therapists or the consultant or someone else, you can find them on the ward. And if really necessary, you can get hold of the notes to look in. The idea, however, is that, that you can do this and it, when you're good at it, it'll take two to three minutes a patient, that's all. And as your numbers reduce, it gets easier and easier. And in one trust, um, they've na they're now looking at their over 14 days, not 21s, because um, the numbers of over 14 is now the same as the over 21s were to start with. So I think it's really important to be out on the wards. What, what you will find is there are top reasons. Um, in one trust we found that was patient choice and by talking to the ward staff on a weekly basis about how to use the choice policy and every week going back and saying, have you sent letter number two? Um, within a month you've almost modelled the behaviour and they they understand it better. So there's a lot of coaching that goes on alongside this. And what I really love is when you go back to a ward and they look at you and you say, have you sent sent letter number two and they'll go yes I sent it yesterday so they've owned it and made made the change but I I've seen that work better by this approach of doing it on the wards not as I say in a in a room where they feel interrogated so my top tips for a long stay Wednesday process are to keep it simple to have a team that goes to the ward to have that team so it's consistent every week so the messages stay the same to clearly find out what the plan is for every patient and what's going to happen next and do all of that in a coaching style so that the ward staff feel safe.